we tell anyone why we're here? Hey, hey. all right. So Valentine's Day is coming up, and I know that none of you have girlfriends, and you guys need the help. So I brought you guys some materials, and so here you go. Make some Valentine's Day cards out of this. Have fun. Mom's gonna love this. How? <laughs> we're so happy. This isn't you. I <laughs> BJ. Yeah, of course I have a girlfriend. Um, we've actually been serious for about about three years. Um, we actually met on the, her set. I mean, you you may know of her. She's in like some movies and a TV show, but I won't say exactly what her name is because it's confidentiality. So, um, but yeah, it was just three years ago. I was kind of on this around that area, and I saw him shooting for the set. I was like, hey, what the heck? I'll I'll go and I'll watch it. Um, and actually, the most surprising part is that she came up to me. And asked me if I wanted to go to dinner. And so I was like, yeah, sure, why not? Um, at first I wasn't quite interested in her, but she kept on pursuing me. So I was like, you know what, fine. I'll go on a second date with you. And it just kind of progressed from there. So who are you guys going to be asking out on Valentine's Day? Oh, there's this girl, Katie, from my Euclid class. What? I cannot wait to ask her to be my Valentine. We're happy for you. How about you, Matt? Ah, uh, there's this hot Catherine chick in my psych class, so I'm making her. Hmm. Catherine. Sounds like a really nice name. What about Katie? Katie's a nice name? I think Katie sounds very nice as well. So, Robbie likes this girl, Katie, and Matt likes this girl, Catherine. But what they don't know is that actually, they're liking the same girl. You're pretty stupid. And I'm going to set them up. Um, I need to talk to you, BJ. Uh, yeah, come in. I'm an assistant PA. I need to talk to you about floor violations. I have gone on my way to find an officer who can eliminate those. You're assistant to the PA. No. I smell girl. Hey, Matt. Permission to engage. Assistant PA speaking. Permission to pursue. Do you copy? Loud and clear. <laughs> Didn't you know it's floor hours? Didn't anybody tell you? You can't be here. Target has been neutralized. Well done. Bring it home. So I'm coming down here to check up on Ben because I poked him two minutes ago and he hasn't pulled me back. Now to some people that may not be that big of a deal, but to me it is. Because my job as a PA is to make people feel good about themselves and I found out that poking people does just that. Hey man, thanks for poking me. Anytime. See what I mean? I'm supposed to be assistant to the PA. I really just do this as an ego boost, but he's taking advantage of it. To the PA. Ben. Why did hey. you poke me? I poked you two minutes ago. Um. Can we talk about this? Why haven't you poked me? Did you get the memo? What memo? About the Valentine's Day. Wait, is that part of your job? Are you the PA? Um, I have strict duties. We discussed this. I'm assistant PA. No, you're assistant to the PA. To um, the PA. Lower level. I'm sure it's clearly clerical. That's what she said. That's what she said. I don't poke. Ever. It shows a sign of weakness. As assistant PA, I take my job very seriously. Um, to give you a little analogy, um, I am the lead. Point five, and BJ is the pencil. You take away the lead, and you just got wood and BJ. 
You know, normally I'm a pretty nice guy, pretty gentle. But in this situation, this is something I just couldn't pass up. And this is gonna be good. Dude! What is that? Is it toothpaste? Don't touch an unidentified white substance. Hello? Hey, Katie, this is Joe. How you doing? I'm great, thanks. Hey, I have something to give you, so do you think you can meet me in Martin Square in like 10 minutes? Great, bye! How did he get my number? Hey, Matt, Kathy says she's gonna meet you in Martin Square in 10 minutes. Get your rear gear and go, man. <laughs> hey, Nick! I can't do it. Oh, come on, man. What's the worst she could say? No. Eh, wrong. She could tell everyone on campus how you paint your jeans on. You shut your mouth. I'm a man. Come on, you have to go change. I can see your sperm count being lowered from here. <sighs> Fine, then. I'm gonna go ask her right now. Good luck. Dude. Oh. You better get in gear, man, because Katie said she's going to meet you in Martin Square in 10 minutes. No problem. You're a saucy fellow. <laughs> oh, man. I'm Dr. Phil. Dude, what's your problem? Hey, man, what's up? Oh. So this girl from my Euclid class, Katie, I'm gonna have a date with her. What? But why not ask one of Nick's girls out? Um, I think Nick's girls are all taken. Man, if they are, I have a newfound respect for Nick. Yeah. Oh, that man. kid knows how to play. Get it, get it, get it, get it! I was here first, Large Heart! Get it, get it, get it, get it! Captain, will you go on a date with me? Don't laugh. Don't laugh. <laughs> Don't laugh. Ran out loud.